Alright folks, welcome back to another 7 Days to Die little mini episode from Dan Demented. I am going to show you guys today how to use some of these explosives. Doesn't that sound fun? Yeah! Let's blow some stuff up. Okay, so there are five different types in the explosive categories. There's Molotov cocktails, pipe bombs, dynamite, contact grenades, and regular grenades. I'm, I don't know what they're actually called. Grenade. Just regular grenade. Uh, each one does different things. Um, Molotov cocktail, pretty useful when you have a horde night and you just want to, you know, do some damage to some zombies. Uh, we are probably going to call a screamer in, which is a little, like, uh, Samara-looking zombie that when they see you, they will scream, which summons other zombies to come and attack you. Um, I don't usually use the explosives, so I don't always remember right off the bat how to use them. So let's see if we can do this together. All right. So to throw, you have to hold down the left click button. All right, and you charge it up and then throw. And breaks it open and you can throw them closer or far away. And any zombies that get in that are going to take some fire damage. Now, if you look on here, it says they'll take 250 fire damage over 16 seconds. It'll do 5 block damage and 3 explosive. In other words, it'll do 3 radius out and 5 block damage. So you are still going to be doing damage to blocks. I'm not sure if it does damage to any blocks within your own... Uh, like area of effect, like you put down your land claim box and it basically covers that much space. Um, so I don't know if it does damage to the things there. All right, now to light the pipe bomb here, you have to click right click, I'm pretty sure. And then you hold and throw. And they blow up. Hey, what do you know? I remembered it right the first time. All right, so that does 230 explosive damage, five block damage. It's got a four uh, block explosive radius, and it has a four second fuse. So once you light it, don't hold it for more than four seconds, or it's gonna kill you. Right. And it is loud. Wow. Okay. The fuse is pretty loud. At least it is to me. I don't know how much of it you guys can hear. All right, so dynamite, same thing. You right-click, and you throw. Also has a four-second fuse time, but it does way more block damage. All right, so let's see if we can hit. <laughs> Man, I haven't used dynamite in forever. Wow, that did a lot of damage there, didn't it? So it does more damage to blocks than it does to zombies. So remember that if you're using it for home defense on Horde Knight. Uh, it is going to do way more damage to the blocks than it is going to do to the zombies. So try to keep that in mind. All right, contact grenades. These are my favorites. Um, it does 310 damage to the zombies, 10 damage to blocks, and it's got a 5 explosive radius. And these, you right-click to pull the pin, and then you throw. And as soon as it hits, it goes boom. And yeah, you can throw them pretty far. But you can also throw them close. There you go. See? And then we have regular grenades. They have a fuse time. They have a three second fuse time. After you pull the pin, they have three seconds before they go boom. They do the exact same damage as the contract grenade. It's just if you don't throw them before the three seconds is up, they go boom in your hand. 
and then boom. So yeah, you got to keep that in mind. All right, so the other thing I want to show you guys today, aside from the uh, explosive stuff, these. These are candies. You can find them in vending machines. Sometimes you'll loot them in trash and some other things. Each one does a different thing. You have eye candy. This is the one that I think is one of the coolest. It adds plus 5 to your loot bonus, plus 10% to your loot bonus chance, 5 minute duration, and it counts as food. Alright, so basically you take this before you go loot a place, and if you have cleared it out and you're just going through and picking up all the loot like I usually do, this will add to the loot bonus, it will add to your percentage chance of finding better loot. It's really useful. Then you have these, the oh shits drops. They completely reduce fall damage. Uh, after you go up like five or six uh, blocks high, you start running the risk of doing like actual injuries to your legs and doing stuff like that. If you take these, it does not matter how far you fall, you take zero damage. Uh, Atom Junkies adds to your explosive damage. If you did that when you were throwing these, it would make the damage more and you would do a whole lot more damage to the zombies as you throw them. Covert Cats uh, adds 50% to any sneak damage that you do while you're under the effects of it. They last five minutes. So if you're trying to go for a stealth build, these are the ones that you want to try to keep on you. Hackers. Uh, whenever you are going around knocking out trees, knocking out uh, cars, uh, pulling apart sinks, pulling apart all kinds of stuff like that, you take these, you get 20% more stuff over a course of 10 minutes. This will increase your maximum health. It's called a health bar. Uh, increases your armor crit resistance, your natural crit healing. Uh, lasts for 5 minutes, so if you think you're going to go into a, a real heavy combat situation... Take one of these. Jailbreakers. Uh, you know how when you try to lockpick something, which by the way, to lockpick something, all you got to do is have lockpicks in your inventory and find something. You're going to look at it, hold E, and pick the lockpick section. Um, but sometimes when you do that, your lockpicks will break. Taking one of these beforehand they never break. You have a 100% chance of lockpicking something. So if you have like a gun safe or an ammo crate or something like that you find that you really, really want to get into, look for these in the in the uh, trader's vending machine. Nerd Tats. It creates an area of effect shock for 1.2 meters anytime you do an attack damage. Or is it anytime they hit you? It's either any time a zombie hits you or any time you hit them. I don't know. I've never actually used these. Uh, Rockbusters does the same thing for salvage. 20% extra when you're mining uh, ores or rocks or stone or anything else like that. Lasts for 10 minutes. Skull Crushers. 50% extra melee damage for 5 minutes. So you take these, you take a health bar, and you are a melee combat machine. Sugar butts, plus 10% discount on bartering. Lasts for 10 minutes. So if you're going to go sell a whole bunch of stuff to the trader, take those before you go. If you can find them. They're not always easy to find. It is a random generation for loot and stuff. Those candies are super useful. Don't pass them up. If you have the money and you see them in the vending machine, get them. All of them are useful. I say, as I have also admitted, that I have never used the nerd ones, the nerd tats that do the shock damage. I just never have. Uh, but if they fit your style of play, go for it. Uh, that's pretty much the biggest thing. If something fits your style of play, do it. It'll turn out better for you in the long run. All right, well, I went to the gym today. I'm pretty tired. I'm going to go get some sleep. Uh... I do work graveyard shift, so it's like, you know, 9 in the morning here, which is my bedtime. Uh, I hope you all have a great day, and I will catch you later.